What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good evening or uh, yeah, afternoon, evening, whatever. It also depends on where you live, obviously. Um, but welcome to this video in which we're covering Radium. Uh, we'll be talking about some fundamental things and insights. Uh, but apart from that, we'll also talk about the technicals. What is it doing? Uh, today we are uh, very bullish actually. We're up 36%. was even more. We have dropped down quite significantly already. Um, but apart from that, volume also up to 100 million compared to the market cap, that's huge, but also compared to yesterday, that's huge. Um, and I think there are multiple reasons for that. Uh, it, it seems to be, to be, I mean, to be quite honest, it seems to be that there's some manipulation. There's, there's just some moves right here where in five minutes, 3 million is, is, is added in, in volume. And then other periods in very small amounts of time, like uh, kind of the same. Uh, like right here in 10 minutes, uh, 5 million added again. So there's some weird things going on. Apart from Serum, which Radium is, uh, is the AMM of Serum. Uh, it's heavily linked with each other. Was also hit very hard by the whole FTX drama. Most of you, most of you know that. But more uh, recent fundamentals are that Serum yesterday was very bullish. But the volume which made it bullish was actually uh, quite shady. Coming a lot from Korea. Um, but for Radium right now... This volume is actually more stable and coming from more credible sources. Gate.io is a, is, is a credible source of volume. But apart from that, also a lot coming from Binance. So th this is looking like a little bit more of a natural move, uh, except for the fact that you can clearly see some manip manipulated moves. So, so when that happens, usually what I say is that uh, be careful. Uh, be careful if you want to trade this and if you really do want to. I would, I, I mean, I personally prefer not to, but if you really do want to trade it, Use some, some good stop losses, all right? Um, apart from that, there are also some bullish fundamentals going on at Radium. Um, what you can see is that they are they have announced five days ago their permissionless concentrated liquidity pools and farms. So that's, I mean, that's bullish. They're still developing. They're also shifting from, I mean, uh, FT, FTX used to be their, their biggest market maker. Um, they're shifting away from them. So it's, it's just the Solana ecosystem is recovering a little bit. Uh, Radium is doing great things, so fundamentally I would say they are, uh, well, they're valued more than this. If you compare that to where we were at, at around 50 cents earlier, I think it's still a relatively low, uh, low valuation. So that's just another factor playing into why we're bullish right now. However, if we take a look at the technicals, which I wanted to get into right now, hopefully I didn't miss any fundamentals or anything I wanted to talk about. If we take a look at the fundamentals, what you can see is, first of all, weird price movement struggled a lot, lot with 21 and, and 20 cents managed to break above that earlier today took a break retest got up to this level right here like with, at, at around 25 cents but specifically it's it's this level right here between like 27 and a half cents and 25 cents uh, which is very strong at the top of this entire key zone you also have 30 cents which is strong um, we're definitely not going to break through this entire level. Uh, there's not a lot of, enough bullish momentum for, for Radium uh, to do that. There's not even enough, uh, enough volume, I think. Uh, and personally, I also, you know, we might actually test 25 and 27 um, a little bit more, but I don't even think we'll break above 27 cents. I, I, as I said, I think we'll test that a little bit, but then afterwards, I think... Unfortunately, that we will be dropping back down to, to this 20 cents level, which I do think will hold now. Uh, at least initially, it will actually hold and serve as some sort of a consolidation. And what happens afterwards, frankly, depends on, on what Solana does. Um, so I'll probably be back with another update on Solana. Definitely, maybe also on Radium, but that, uh, that, that is to be determined. Uh, this is at least my take on, on Radium this afternoon. So if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, take care and bye.